Friday at Pizza Flicks. Tonight from 1963, it's Emmy winner Rue McClanahan like you've never seen her before. In John Hayes' directorial debut, the future golden girl plays a junkyard floozy with a mysterious past. This trash can treasure co-stars Rue's former husband, Norman Hartwig, and my favorite beatnik, King Moody.
Hey, kid. Just like medicine. Hey, you got evil habits, blowhard. You should get a bonus tonight, kid. Come on. Why we have to go along like tramps or something, sleeping in the car, not eating in restaurants, not staying in a motel. I get so sick of it. What's wrong with us? I don't know. Other people don't have it this way. What's wrong with us? Why do we always have to be the ones that scrimp and save and never have anything? Is that my fault? You did get laid off. Sure didn't help any with the bills when you got pregnant. I did. You didn't have anything to do with it? Other people have nice things. A decent car, live in a nice house. Work is slow in my trade, that's all. Is that my fault? Your trade. I'm so sick of hearing about it! Thanks, Edna. Honey, I'm sorry about what I said. I didn't mean it was your fault. But are people supposed to live like this? We sit here, we wait. Well, maybe in San Diego. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do to get this thing fixed. I'll fix you a sandwich. No, I don't want it. You go ahead. I've got to get a starter. Maybe some junkyard someplace. in the middle there? A Lincoln Continental. <laughs> That's class. A uh, total bout, smashed up. 7,000 bucks that car cost you, and look at it. Hey, is that the one with the dame, uh, you know, the dame was smashed up all over the upholstery? Uh, the dame was smashed up, the car was smashed up, the bottle was smashed up, the payments were smashed up, the, the dough was smashed up, the radio was smashed up, the heater was smashed up, the kids was killed in the back seat, and the dog was cut in two. How do you know? You like that stuff? I know. That's all I know. It's 
front and back. I know everything in here. I know every damn thing, and if they made worms out of it all, we could stick one on the hook and watch it wiggle while we went fishing. Ah, uh, you don't know so much. I know. Ah, uh, you see? They all come in here with money, and they want to get out cheap. I'll get them out cheap with a part that don't fit. How about that? You got a great idea for laughs, Harry. That ain't laughs. That's the difference between business and not business. That's the difference that makes me stink and you crawl. If you're so smart, why ain't you rich? Hell, Harry, <laughs> you are rich. Hey, you want a beer, Harry? Hey, you want a beer, Harry? All you gotta hand out is beer? You hand out too much and then he ain't thirsty anymore. Well, it's your beer. You tell me to give it away. I had all I want. It's all right, me, Harry? Now, get out of here. You ain't ugly, Harry. Ah, uh, shut up! So uh, you didn't want beer and uh, you wanted something else? Uh, like you was thirsty and it uh, wouldn't come for you no more. Hello, Harry. We got a complaint on you for uh, selling the parts off stolen cars. I got no criminal intentions except crime. You got a warrant? Don't worry about it. The sergeant just wants to see you down at the station. OK. I'm a taxpayer, and if I pay taxes, I guess you got a right. But this ain't the first time, and you know that. But I'm still here, and you're still there, and I still pay taxes. Hey, you got a starter for a 48 Ford? Who the hell are you? What difference does that make? I'm a customer. You got that starter? I got everything. Looks, brains, class, but a 48? Nothing. Where are you going? San Diego. I got a job promised there. You know, if they was to ask a college professor what this was, he wouldn't know. If they was to ask Kennedy and his grandmother's bunions depended on it, he wouldn't know. Einstein wouldn't know. Elizabeth Taylor wouldn't know. Hey, 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 that's mine. Go get it then. You got one like that? Sure, I got one. King of England, eh? Me? I got it. How much you want for it? Uh, what are you going to San Diego for? I got a job promised there. Look, I'll give you five bucks. Hey, uh, how, how many push-ups could you do? Five, ten, a hundred? What the hell are you talking about? That's what kids do in school. Are uh, you trying to tell me how to run everything with your big-time five bucks and you can't do any push-ups? Hey, <laughs> big-time operator with a 48 Ford. He don't even know what he is. Ah, shut up, blowhard. He comes in here talking about 48 a bad year, and you come down the cracks like a bug. Go away. Listen, I'll tell you the truth. If I had any dough, I wouldn't be driving the clunker and come in here. Yeah, and your aunt wouldn't run a beer hall in Peoria. Hey, right, go ahead. Do some push-ups, blowhard. Hey, look at that. Now, now, now that's a real man. All right, that's enough. Get up, blowhard. Look, how about my starter? Hey, do you want a drink, Blowhard? Nothing but liquid. I won't drink nothing that don't pour. Hey, how about you? Can you do some push-ups like Blowhard here? For God's sakes, yes. What's that got to do with it? Ah, that's the trouble with your kids that don't think about nothing. You get a car when you're 16 with hair under your arms, and then it's the back seat. Am I right? Hey, hey, look, why don't you do some push-ups? i tell you what I'd do. You do more push-ups than Blowhard, and I'll give you the starter. Hey, 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 that's more than Rockefeller could do for you. Look, I said I'd give you five bucks. What do you want me to do? Push-ups like a dog or something and get down in the dirt for you? Dog can't do push-ups. He's got four legs. All right, all right, let, let me see the five bucks. Where's the starter? Where's your car? Down the road. Look, why don't you do some push-ups? Uh, do some push-ups like blow hard and it'll build up your muscles. I don't want any muscles. All I want is my starter. You know, I, I could tell you go back there and look. 
I don't have to do business with you. You have to do business with me. If I wasn't broke, I'd walk out. <laughs> but you are. Hey, hey, you know what it costs me? Nothing. I wreck a clunk and get all the parts. Ah, but you'll get it. But first, the beer, okay? What is this? Well, nothing. It'll take a little time, but Blowhard will get you the starter. Five bucks. Go inside and pay the girl. Enjoy yourself. Have a beer. What are you gonna do about that cop, Harry? Don't worry. Keep Floyd around, I like him. Sneaking in here like that. Thanks. Oh, Harry buys it, see? I can drink all I want. Well, like I told him, I just want to get my car running again. Well, he's got lots of parts. I don't know why you couldn't get one. He's got every kind of part from every kind of thing. I mean it, every kind. Kind of nuts, isn't he? I mean, he acted screwy or something instead of wanting to sell me a part. Harry? He's got money even stuck away in the dirt. You aren't married to him, are you? No, I ain't married. Harry ain't married. Not that he's not all right. You work for him? I just hang around. You mean you're his girl? No. What do you mean, his girl? If you mean, am I a girl? Yes, I'm a girl. Don't you believe it? Sure, I believe it. But I mean, I thought you were his girl if you hang around with him. Does somebody have to be somebody's girl all the time? Why not just be a girl, period? Maybe I'm my own girl. Maybe I don't even like Harry. Don't like anybody except my own self. Did you know that there's girls like that? They don't like anybody except their own self. Like in prison and places like that. You know what I mean? I don't know if I do or not. And there's girls that like other girls. Oh, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> Men don't like that, girls that like other girls. <laughs> I think it's funny. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, what does? Uh, regular. Family. Oh. Kid. When did you ever add up everything you've ever done and tell all about it? How about it, everything? Didn't you ever get turned around all upside down and not know everything you were doing? You sure talk a lot. Oh, do I? Well, maybe you don't like a girl that talks so much. Don't talk and lie still. Is that better? Look, like I told that guy outside, all I want to get is that part, pay for it, and then leave. What the hell kind of a place is this anyway? You know how I can tell you're married? You're scared of me. You're scared of me because you're scared of your own self. And you're scared of your wife and you're scared of everything. What have I got to be scared of? Maybe I don't even like to look at you. Anyhow, what's all this talk about? Here, I'm done. Thanks. What do you think? God's looking? I don't even know what you're talking about, except it's Does crazy. Does God look down all the time? You think he can see right in here, see right through these walls? Or maybe your wife's God, and she can look down and see right through these walls here. Are you trying to make a fool out of me? That guy's right out there, and you're his girl. Harry? Well, Harry ain't God. He can't look down in here out of a cloud. What kind of a racket is this? I, you sure picked the wrong guy. I haven't got any money. I haven't got anything. All I got is enough to get to San Diego plus five bucks, which he could get easy enough just by giving me a piece out of a car he just wrecked. You want another beer? No, I don't. <laughs> What's the matter? 
matter, honey? You think God's looking down, counting the beers you drink? One more beer and he marks it down in his big book? Think that's all he's got to do? He ought to be a census taker. <laughs> oh, come on, take it. God's busy right now watching some people in the back seat of a car. <laughs> Go on. I can't figure you out, or that guy out there either. What do you think there is to figure out? He's nuts, that's what's wrong with him. <laughs> like you want me to do them crazy push-ups? Yeah. Now uh, he wants me to make a pass at you and then you'll holler and he comes in here with the other guy and they beat the hell out of me, is that it? I don't holler. A lady doesn't ever holler because it's not polite. Oh yeah, I can get a big picture of that. Well, if he comes in there now, he's going to get a little bit more than he bargains for. <laughs> Harry? Oh, honey, what a story. You don't know. Don't you trust me? Why should I? You ought to trust someone. You know, one time, a kid came in here looking for parts for his big brother's hot rod. He couldn't have been more than 14. What, are you crazy? You mean to tell me you came in here with a 14-year-old boy? Why? For what? Well, Harry said to. I didn't care. What? Well, now, why should I lie? What's the difference? How about when you were 14? Why not a little help? How old are you, anyway? How old do I look? Not so old. Maybe my age. Maybe the 14-year-old kid thought I was his age. All you got is outside. That's where it counts, isn't it? That's where you can see it, the outside. Not a bad outside, is it? It's all right. What do you mean, all right? Like it knows how. But not nice. Nice enough to touch. Some things you keep your hands off of. Why? Why? Because it's right, that's why. It only takes a minute. Five minutes, that's all. Did you ever look at a clock? That's all it takes, actual time. Five minutes, maybe. Then what? It's all over. There's no sign left, no mark. Nobody can tell. It's all done and passed. Just two people for five minutes. That's all it means to you? That's all it is, the real of it. If you make it anything more than that, it's your own fault. You're crazy. I got a wife. Good. Bring home the paycheck. What's that got to do with something that happens in five minutes and doesn't leave a mark for anyone to see or know? I'd know. What, you and God write it down in a big book? Tuesday, five minutes, sin like a mink. I wouldn't want my wife coming in here with some other guy. What's that got to do with it? She isn't here. She isn't you. She wouldn't know. That's what the map said. I think there was a gas station back there at the turn off. Maybe they would know. We were just passing through. How old is he? She. Four months. Well, I see you have car troubles too. Cars just aren't to be trusted. Well, I think I'll try that gas station you mentioned. Bye bye. I'm not just anybody. 
me or just anybody? Well, then you need glasses, because the day I am just anybody, they will be looking for new bricks to build City Hall. Exactly what is that supposed to mean? Well, you want it to mean. I don't put it in what goes on in your head. You have to do that. I'm just saying, I don't like it when Frank Buck here starts acting like you guys never seen me before. You're Frank Buck. I'm calling you Frank Buck because if I called your liver face, you'd probably get excited about it. Can I hit this guy? All right, now, wait a minute. Look, Harry, you be reasonable. Keep your mouth shut and everything will go a lot better. Did you hit him? Right away, he says, can I hit? What, are you a little kid or something? You want to hit somebody, you have to ask him permission like it was your father? Do I think? Ah, don't you know better than to hit a businessman? Who do you think pays your salary and puts the brass badge on you so you can hit people? Now, I'm a businessman, and if you think you can go around hitting businessmen like they were pachucos, you'll end up going to work for a living, am I right? You practically invited him to do it. Oh, so he's got to learn, no matter how dumb he is, he's got to learn. You see that? And that? Now that shows I'm a businessman. If you think you can mess around with a businessman, you ought to go back to shining shoes for a living. Boy, are you dumb. I'll belt you one if you come out with any more of that dumb stuff. Go ahead, it'll relax your tension. Lay off him, Harry. We've got a complaint on you, and that's why you're down here. We've got to do something about it. Do something. Don't make me laugh. You won't laugh if I lay one on you. Ah, the trouble with you fellas is you're all alike. You're either too dumb or too lazy or think you're too smart to work for a living. And then you got a nasty streak or else you'd be firemen instead. You want to wear a badge and a gun and a fat head to run somebody else around. You know why? Because you're nothing your own self and you want to fool somebody. <laughs> That's enough. Harry, you keep your mouth shut. You, no more pokes at him. We'll find out about this and no ass to get punched. Ah, uh, give him somebody else to smack around with me, not me. Maybe he's not getting any at home and he needs some. Hey, hey, don't you have any drunks around? Some some Mexican kids? Give them something, for God's sake. Your trap shut or I'll break your damn neck. Look, that's all over now. We have a complaint on you that says you've been taking stolen cars and selling them. Now, what about it? Well, you know how it is. A couple of kids come in, they sell uh, stuff, and they buy stuff. Uh, how am I supposed to know which is a stolen hubcap and which ain't? Nobody can tell by lucky. Uh, now with an engine, it's different. It's got a serial number on it. What if I were to come down and look in your yard now? You might find a couple of engines with stolen numbers on them, right where they was planted. Well, somebody's got to be on a hook for this. They got copies downtown. Uh, do you want to know who is stealing cars and trying to sell them to me? Yeah. I'm thinking I almost remember a punk who is a car thief and is trying to sell me a hot car. You almost remember that. That's right, I, I almost do. And you want me to ask you who it is? Go ahead, ask me. Maybe I couldn't remember. Maybe you could remember to keep your hands off a businessman. Maybe this guy you're trying to remember, maybe he's a businessman also. No, 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 he ain't established enough. He's just a pun. And the car thief. Yeah. You'll testify and give evidence about this guy. Yeah. He tried to sell you a hot car. Direct. Yeah, he's over at my place right now. All right, we'll pick him up. Got a hand with you, Harry. You're shrewd. Real shrewd. Call another yard. Be about half an hour.
You got a mentality of about 15 cents. But I'm very big on personality. You see that? Don't mean nothing. The Egyptians invented paper and they made slaves out of skinny people. The verities of life, the truths, that's what counts. The cohabitation of love in the animal act of procreation and the self-esteem is watered down in the flower of approval of others, such as fame and the necessities of eating. I think Harry imported the Mary J marijuana and blew some nose dust. Phosgene, codeine, and morphine in it. Why? Because it rots and corrodes at human purpose. You wallow and roll in dope and filthy companions. Dope is sinful. Sin is doeful. Would your family have think to you too? They wanted me to work hard at what I was doing, and I wanted to work easy at it, or not at all. Lack of moral fiber. Fibrous moral tissue. Tissue paper, fiber, paper, paper. You are fluky. Boy, when you talk fluky, you are. Self-destructive impulse to wallow in the filth of abnegation. Paper abnegation. Young Freudian abnegation. Thumb sucking. What's a... Uh... Abnegation. An abnegation is like a rotten apple. One rotten apple spoils the barrel, right? But the barrel is made out of rotten apple cores, and the core apple is barrel rotten, and the whole... Stick a finger in your eye. Do you want to be decent? Some aren't, and they're all evolutionary. No damn good. You and me. 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 Yeah, me. No, nobody's got just their own self. There's somebody else inside your head that matters what happens. Everybody got something. I got a wife, kid, my folks still pay attention. I used to live in Houston. Well, what about there? Well, I could spit all over that place and not hit nothing I liked. Oh, you got something. Well, I got a little girl. Nobody ever didn't say I didn't have a little girl. She was this baby I had. Nobody ever said I didn't take care of her. All I said was, everybody has something outside their own skin. You said you have a little girl? That's all. I take care of her all the time. Anytime she wants anything, whether she wants it or not, I get it for her. Anything, you understand? How come if you and Harry has a little girl, you stay here? What kind of a crumb is he, you having a little girl? Well, I had my baby before I ever knew Harry. I used to have a husband. He married me before I let him get close enough for anything. <laughs> Can you imagine that? All that trouble, the ceremony, all the fuss, for something that takes five minutes. I gotta go now. Thanks for the beer. Wait a minute. I was eight months pregnant, he couldn't wait. Eight months pregnant, he couldn't wait around night, so he went out. Went down to South Hoover Street, looking for a fast five minutes. Well, doesn't that prove what I said? There's more to it than five minutes. If there wasn't, you wouldn't feel that way about it. I don't feel anything. Well, what do you think? It can be all like dogs or something? You know that. You feel it. Oh, we'll feel some way about it. Uh, he was down on South Hoover Street, and the night sliced across him here. So that when he straightened up, it was somebody... Yeah. Uh, when he straightened up, the cut parts of his stomach came out in his hands, so he had to hold them, keep them from falling. And then they had him in the hospital with the stitches holding everything in, sewed him up with a metal wire. But then the infection bloated him till the stitch place turned green, and he died. I'm sorry. Then I had my baby in the same hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. Real sorry. Harry doesn't say that. Harry says, what if it had been a traffic accident? <laughs> the same thing would have happened, dead. Dead is dead, any way it happens. That's what Harry says. In five minutes is five minutes, any way it happens. That's what Harry says. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what's to be sorry? You think I worry about it? I don't think about it. I'm just telling you, that's all. When did this happen? Mm, I don't know, was it two or three years ago, a couple of months. I don't think about it. It don't mean nothing to me. Well, I, I gotta be heading out. Oh, no, no, don't go. Oh, can't you stay a while? I'll get you some more beer. No. Thanks a lot. I, I don't want any more. Oh, you sure you gotta go? I've got to. You're not mad at me, are you? 
No, I'm not mad. And you're not mad about how I talked? No. Oh. But do you like me a little? Sure, I like you. Oh. Like I said, I'm really sorry. Oh, I don't even think about it. Well, goodbye. You're not mad at me, are you? No, I'm not mad. Like I said, I'm sorry. I don't even think about it. They got Floyd screwed down and nailed. Yeah, well, who says it's not going to be you and me next, Floyd? Oh, Harry loves us. We keep business going for Harry's him. Harry's got no nature. He's a foyer. He's a what? Maybe I ought to get my little tin can out of here, too. Go and be gone like the god of Mohammed Missoula. Go? Where else could you have it so good? Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche says that the power is beyond good and evil, Blowhard. Now, you wouldn't know that, but it isn't true. Harry is greedy, and he's rusty like all the junk in one city. Hey! You're already hot. You found another steak. Last one, Blowhard. Around here is like all the puke and the rotten stuff that they cut out of you at the hospital. You can't live in this like a bloated green rat. You like having him outside watching you do it with some poor dame that's off her rocker? That's his worry. I get mine. <laughs> Full glove drink of the euphoria of the non-habit forming weed. Safety and evil. And greed takes from the weak. What else? Oh, what else could a guy want? Nietzsche the Crouch said the strong ought to take from the weak and grind the faces of the poor. It turns your stomach up close. <laughs> Boy, are you nuts, talking and jabbering. Power! The Superman! Now, is Harry a Superman, huh? He let that car wreck did him in. Now, pretty soon, he's gonna have to stop having to shave. And that leg. Nietzsche the Crouch was a wreck, too. Only one thing I don't like about pot, it takes your nature for a while and you can't get excited about it. Like I'm a Superman blowhard. I want a car, I steal it. I got money, I got love. You know the Arabs call that stuff hashish. And look what I got him, Arabia. How come you come down here anyway? Leave your little bird home and your lawyer papa in the house. I didn't pay my library fines. I came for the good life. Power, Nietzsche, Carnegie, Rockefeller, laissez-faire, Poontang, the giants of aggressive man. You're not so damn smart. Falling on the throne before power. Millionaire Harry, tycoon Harry, King Harry, and all them, the mudsill class. You know who said that? Randolph of Virginia, and he was impotent too. <laughs> Who's that, you little fink? The humble, dirty, the slaves of civilization, the mud, the people, the inferiors. Randolph of Virginia, 1730. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! But I'm gonna get out of here, blowhard. You saw that cop car, didn't you? Well, I don't want it coming for me, too. Maybe I better go back and pay my library fines. You won't go nowhere because you love the weed. You love it! Yeah, well, maybe I do and maybe I don't. You love it! You love it! I'll save you a hot baby for you. You'll come back because you love it! You love it! You love it! Wait 
you run them? Run what? Well, hot guard this deal, wise guy. What do you sell? No place, damn it. You mean you admit stealing them, but you're not saying where you sell them? I don't admit nothing. What are you guys nuts? You better ask him. We know who to ask. You better get us the answers real fast. I don't steal any damn cars. Tell him I just came to your place today. Tell him what? I've seen you around. Where do you sell the cars? I don't sell no cars. I don't sell no cars. on his guys. Supposing he doesn't sign anything. I just came into this place. He lies. There is no trying to get innocent people in trouble. Uh, I'm a bad sucker. I run a decent business and punks like you try to spoil it. You got a sign? Hey, hey, does it make you feel good? I mean, when you hit him, it hurts a little out of your fist. It makes you feel good almost like you're getting a little hot. It ain't funny. Now, just as if it was you as him. Junkyard. Well, my husband came in looking for a part for his car. I got tired, so I thought I might find him here. It's just down the road. What kind of part? A starter. He had on a dark shirt, black hair. I thought he might... Oh, 48 Ford. Yes. Was he in here? Uh, yeah. He said to give it to you if you came in. It's over here. It's funny. He said to give it to me if I came in? Where did he go? Search us. All we got is a junkyard. Hey, uh. I wouldn't even know if it was the right part. Well, it's the right one, OK. 48 Ford. Well, I don't even have the money to pay for it. You don't need any. He paid for it already? No. It's uh, Free Starter Week is a memorial to the junk business. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're fooling me. You already paid for it. <laughs> well, if it's the right part, I guess I might as well take it back to the car. Didn't he say where he was going or when he'd be back? No. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I hope the starter fits. Well, won't it? I mean, if it's the same kind and everything. <laughs> yeah. Say, so why don't I take it down there for you? You get your hands all greasy. Well, all right. That's it. Well, you can't put it in without no tools. Oh, thanks a lot. My husband will be back in a minute. I like to lay down on the cars. I get a feeling about laying down on the cars. You know, I can fix this thing. I can put the starter in and you'll be rolling in no time. I'm pretty good with a tool. 
Hey, what if your husband don't come back? I got a feeling about people coming back. Sometimes they do, and uh, sometimes they go off and don't ever come back. I'm that way myself. You need to wait. I'll wait. You know, I could have been an athlete if I got the right chance. My husband was promised a job in San Diego where they make missiles and things. You know, you're pretty nice looking. I, you better go back to your job. My husband will be here in a minute. All I said was you're nice looking. Is that a crime? Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the tow truck, I'll hook it on the car, and I'll tow it to the yard. Smoke sweet, steals, cost, takes him to tier one, that's all. Maybe he'll never sign anything. Maybe so and maybe not. I'll take the maybe so. I guess you would. How's he gonna stand up and give evidence in court? Oh, you've got a great mind, Sergeant. I like you. I don't doubt it. I gotta wash my hands. A guy splattered on me. Yeah, yeah, go wash your hands. It's a great experience. Wise, wise guy. Don't forget, I just assumed it was you, and maybe it's gonna be. Uh, wouldn't you wish it, you dumb cop? You're gonna get yours, wise guy. That stuff you got out in the back ain't gonna save you forever. That stuff's gonna wear out. Clean your hands. Yeah, yeah, go clean your hands, you heard him. Get up, Harry. You know, one of these days, Harry, may not go so good for you. It goes all right out there in my shack, don't it? That doesn't mean very much anymore. Stuff like that's easy to come by. You and I have known one another for a long time, Harry. I like to be a friend to somebody that treats me right. But you're making it difficult. Your mouth is a lot bigger than you are. You know, I stood here right now and I asked myself, why shouldn't I turn Joe loose on you? Let Harry get the hell beat out of him. What's the difference? You're nothing to me. Oh, you've paid me a few favors, shown me a good time. But everything has got to end. <laughs> you know, when Joe gets back here, I'm going to be on edge. One edge that says, should I let you get along with me? And the other edge that, uh... <laughs> that says, should I throw you in the corner like a chunk of meat to a dog? Sergeant, you could have been a big mad except for one thing. There is no except one thing to that big mouth of yours. Now look, don't make me mad, Harry. You got one big fault, and that is you're dumb. You know why you're dumb? Because I gave you something. I gave you money, and I wrote it down in a book. I gave you some stuff in my shack, and I got a camera there that takes pictures. <laughs> it takes pictures of you, Sergeant. And it takes pictures of anybody I want. Bam! So just let the steam roll back and swallow it like a good boy, and don't act so big. You're rotten and you're slick, Harry. But this isn't gonna work with him. You're on the hook now yourself, I'm bad. Ah, uh, what the hell do I care? <laughs> I got pictures of you I wouldn't mind putting on City Hall. You got more jewels showing than the Tower of London. I bet he went in the shack with the pooch. Everybody does. What are you talking about? I could have been an athlete. I was offered a scholarship. Only it was when I was just out of high school and this girl ruined it for me. I don't know why I'm telling you all that, except I thought maybe he was wondering why I hang around Harry's wrecking yard and do stuff. These are my working clothes. Listen, if you get along with Harry, uh, you won't have to pay for that starter or nothing. Could be worth quite a bit. You said... You don't know when your husband's gonna come back. Anyway, like I said, he went to Harry's shack with the pooch. Pooch? What are you talking about? The blonde pooch that hangs around Harry's shack for him. She's crazy, so... My I, husband? He's the guy that came in with a starter. You're a liar. Get away from here. Get away from me. I'm not a liar. I'm just telling you. You better get away from here before my husband gets back. I suppose you know what this car fixed. Get away from me. I don't want you near me. 
It's a free country, ain't it? Free dirt. Like I said, I only wear these old clothes when I'm working around the yard for Harry. I look a lot different when I'm all dressed up. I got four suits. Anyway, I don't know why you're sore at me. I just told you about him going in there. You're a liar! All right, but I'm not! Boy, I've never been able to understand the facts of how a woman thinks. Like that girl who ruined my chances for athletics in college. I could have been a college graduate today only for what she done. Do you think what she done was right? Going down to college and said, I had to marry her? I don't know what kind of idiot you are, but if you don't get away from me, I'm gonna yell my head off the top. Did I touch you? Did I lay a hand on you? I'm gonna go out in the street until I see someone, and if you don't leave me alone, so I have a gun. I'm gonna yell my head off the car. You think you got something special? I never even smelled at you, so shut up. There's your damn car dragging that kid all around. I took care of plenty of kids in my time. The girl you didn't marry? That's a damn lie. Everybody had her, not just me. She just wanted to ruin my chances. Well, if that ain't something, and your old man is going to come back dumped, a woman don't have the fact my eyeballs you can't put me in jail for. I done it with my eyeballs to lots of things. Young ones, old ones, fat ones, every kind. I see pictures in a magazine I do it with my eyeballs. So what everybody does. You don't want me to go. You want me to stay. I know all about how a woman works. She says no, she means yes. She don't know what she wants till she gets it. Ain't that right? get all excited when you could just take it easy. The kid's hungry. Get him a hamburger. Go ahead, take it. Have me.
All right, Harry, what are you going to do? I'm thinking about it. Look, all I'm saying is somebody's got to show up downtown. If this guy doesn't confess, then who will? Who's next, Harry? Blowhard? Well, I'm thinking. You can take it or leave it. Tell me, what do you do with a car thief? I mean, you put them on ice, safe? Now look, there's a routine. All you've got to worry about is the evidence. Blowhard? What's the matter, Harry? You scared now? No, I ain't scared. Just turning over the rocks for the worms. Like a cop that turns both ways. You're too smart to be a cop. Hell, you're almost smart enough to run a business and wreck cars like me. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Harry. Blowhard? Okay. You sure banged your head. What for? Flagellation. Self-punishment. Everybody punishes himself because he craps out and he is no good. Nobody got punished. Nobody got hurt. No. It didn't hurt her none. And I didn't hurt myself none. And you didn't hurt you none. And Harry didn't hurt him none. And the head didn't hurt the board none, and the stinking rotten stink didn't hurt the rot none, and what the hell do you think of that? You're gonna bang it off if you don't watch out. Bang my head off? What are you talking about? I have 180 IQ! You got a deranged, stupid mentality, and you couldn't even make a living ironing shirts! But I don't have to stay here. Kid, you shouldn't feel sorry because you wrecked your head and everything. Look, are you going to get out of here? Are you going away from that pimp, Harry? Oh, I don't know why you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Listen, do you think I have to take narcotics and stimulants? Do you think I have to depend on other people? I don't have I to do that. I don't want to stand out here yelling. You don't bang your head no more. I'm going to go over and take a little rest. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Listen, I could ride on a bus, couldn't I? Hi, I could take you on a bus and you could get a job beyond a counter where they have coffee. Now, come here. Don't pull on my sweater. You're going to get your finger marks all over I it. didn't get finger marks on your stupid well, sweater. Well, you may as well get out of here. Harry don't even like you anyhow. Harry! Why do I want him? Why do I do what I do? I don't do what I do because he wants me to do what I do. Listen on that dirt! 
one person was forced and humiliated against what they thought they ought to do. Now, do you think that one person ought to tell another person and change another person and do what nobody ever said that they ought to? It's not going to do you any good to cry. When a grown man cries, it just makes him feel like a dirty crumb or something. Do you want to see on the dirt everything happens on the dirt? A king could squat on the dirt and a pot of flowers grow and a little baby, listen, right, right there. A baby was crying, his little kid. I don't kid. know, you gotta get hold of yourself because you are an awful sloppy mess. All right. Lie right down there on the dirt. Right in the same place. Oh, stop the bottle, a baby's damn bottle. You could run over that with a truck. Hey, I'll tell you what. You come inside the shack and we'll play records and dance. Hey, don't do that. Cut that out, that's goofy. Make me feel buggy watching you. Are you going away with me? I don't want to see anybody sucking on a baby's bottle. I don't either! It's a symbol! Like a brass symbol. Or a ruptured spleen, and a brass monkey, and a flight of the bumblebee, and a fare thee well, and a well digger's butt in Montana, and a home is where the heart is, and a homily, and an early to bed, and an early to rise, and a poor Richard's almanac! Benjamin Franklin was right! The homilies of life! Like get up in the morning and go to work and save your money and do a good job and it all goes around in a circle. But a desiccated liver is still a penny saved, is a penny earned. And any kind of a racket any kind is still going to be crud! Hey, where are you going, kid? You should never got yourself stuck in this thing. <laughs> Mouth shut. The cops did this to you. <laughs> you want to argue with the cops anymore? You know, I want the two of you to start thinking that everything's going to be all right. I want you to start thinking about getting to San Diego and a job and uh, everything's going to be good. I want you to get what's known as the hopes. The ragged-ass hopes. Real strong so you can taste it good in your mouth like something you never had before. I'll get you. I'll get a job and come uh, back. You won't. You can't. You're a nothing, but you ain't got the sense to know it yourself. You think you're something, or you might be something, but you ain't and you never will be. A miserable bare butt and a hungry kid. A stiff neck and an empty head. You haven't got any oil. You haven't got any slide. You haven't got any angles, and that's what it takes. You'll lose that job. Now you're going to have more kids, and maybe you're good-looking now, but it'll all go wasted and shot to hell on him. When your kids grow up, they'll be knocked up or knocked flat, and he won't get a job, and the false teeth you get won't fit worth a damn. They'll fit cheap and lousy like a pair of clackers, and, you, and your hair will string around like a wet floor mop. What do you get the hooks in me for? I already put them there. What are you gonna do? Give it to Joe. 
You know him, he starts low and works up. Please, don't do it to me. I don't like Harry. Why do you put the hooks in me? You want this? Give it to Harry. You believe there were nothing? The day I start believing what you say, you'll never see it. Oh, Sam, let's just get out of here. It doesn't matter. I matter, do you hear that? I matter. Please, let's go. The car runs, we'll get away from here. I matter. out of him when I stick him high. You're high. He ain't here. Well, you sure got yourself messed up. Shut up! You don't know nothing. You hang around here like a dog with Harry. I don't hang around for Harry. I just stay here. Don't you know what you do? Why don't you go out of here? I've been every place there is, so I just stay here. I got my own angles. I got all right. Like when they was going to take me in the army, I told them, I smoke tea. No sweat there. What is a big man? He don't punch no time clock, that's all. I done all right. You was mad at me. And you got drunk and told me about all the times you had a girl. Four of you in a car when you was in the army. Then, then in Honolulu. How about that what you did? Did you have to be waiting like a dog? What's the matter with you, stupid, for God's sake? What's the matter? I loved you and you told me that. Like animals! That I was an animal, but you wanted me for it! Damn it, get it out! You're crazy! Like Harry watching! The only way he can get his kick! You're crazy! I'm not your husband, your husband's dead! Harry? Well, if it ain't Blowhard, the car thief. I'm going to get you, Harry. Uh, you're going to get lonesome on the end of that sticker. Who do you think this is, some punk in a fight? You gave me to the cop like I was nothing. You are nothing. Come on, get down in the dirt and do some push-ups. In the gut! Uh, quit talking about it. Come on ahead. Then a twist for what you done. Hey, 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 why don't you just forget it? Here's some money. Go ahead, here. Go ahead down the road. Go ahead and crawl. Uh, you're high on the pot. Get out of here! You're scared, ain't you, Harry? I got this for you!
You turn them loose on me, and then you don't feel so good. Shut up, Harry. You blast him, and you tell me to shut up. Sally, go, go tell him what, what, what he tried to do to me. I don't feel like talking. You want that? Blowhard didn't deserve it. Deserve don't have nothing to do with it. If things happen by what they deserve, maybe I wouldn't be here. And maybe you wouldn't be a crazy damned whore. Maybe a lot of things. in your own head. Crazy. You got about six more months and I'll lock you away. Crazy? You call that crazy? You turned into junk your own self. Junk! Junk is money! You? You'll stay on the road like a runover cat. Squash! I'm gonna wipe you from one end of this yard to the other.
die. You rotten toad, die. You don't have to stay here. We'll take you with us. You didn't think I was an animal. I used to have a baby, but my baby died in me. Bellhard was going, but Harry killed him. When my baby was baby. My wife and me, we'll take you with us. You hurt, Harry? I'm gonna get your beer? You're all right, Harry. I'll wipe your face off, then you can rest on me. <laughs> <laughs>